Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Valley episode number five. And since we last left off, I have done some work. We moved some chests over, I've done a little bit of mining. I've uh, gathered some saplings and some trees. I did a little bit of explorimentation. I went out this way quite a ways and there's some spruce way out here to the right side of the, the map here. Uh, <laughs> this whole area was a mountain, so I used my horse thankfully and uh, got through that pretty easily. But we got some, some nice spruce now. I cleared out the, uh, the house here, moved the chests over into the house, and here we are. <laughs> oh, the beginning of our farm. Look at this. Nice little basic starting home. I even got ourselves a little sign set up. Welcome to Moo Moo Farm. <laughs> if you guys get the reference, high fives to you. If you guys remember from past experiences, then uh, high five back at you as well. Apologies for the sound. So this is not looking too bad. I've got some stuff set up here, but we're going to work on a few things today. Um, for one, I do want to go ahead and add up some, some windows inside of this place. I do think maybe a nice little window here and there would... would be doing some real good to this place, honestly. Um, let's see, maybe something like, um, yeah, let's do something like this. And I think these will look really well with what we got going on already. Oh, except for the fact they don't connect to the stairs like that. But that's okay, that's okay. We could fix that, maybe, maybe. Actually, no. We, yes, we can. We can only have a single window, though. A single one. I believe it'll connect to the back side of a stair like this. There we go. Now that just looks weird. <laughs> well, darn. What if we did uh, a two tall? This is all, this is my building style. This is how I build. Trial and error. I'll have to play around with that a little bit later on, but I think that might work. Just something a little bit. We just need a little bit of windows in here. But I think that might do something for us. Um, I'll play around with it a little bit later. We got some work to do today. Let's head on over because after selling our last crop, we actually have over 6,000 gold. And I actually think I already got the farm watered today, but I can't really do it yet because the sun's actually about to set. So today is a bad day. I don't know if you have... I think he's open tomorrow. I'm going to go check real quick. I am going to be using my horse a lot more for getting around as well. So... Um, I'm also probably going to be start moving my farm over today, or maybe between episodes. Well, at least maybe even set up a little plot of land, possibly. But let's go ahead and take a look at his times. Sunday through Friday, so that means he's pretty much open every day, but Saturday. Need to remember that. It's going to be hard to remember all these times, but it's a good thing they have these signs here. So we'll have to come talk to him in the morning. Let's head back home, get a little bit of rest, some shut-eye, as spring is coming to an end already. It's mainly because of all the time I've been spending. I've been trying not to sleep too much. Um, especially when I'm down in the mine. I basically just keep mining until, you know, it's morning again. Um, but I did find some diamonds. And as you can see, we do have a diamond pickaxe. And I have actually a little bit of diamonds left over. I know these chests, I need to... I need to do some something with those. But let's go and sleep, call it a day, and let's go water our crops and talk to you of this morning. All right, so before we really, really get into doing that, let's also make some, let's make some storage drawers. That sounds really good. We need some storage for, you know, drawers and stuff. So I'm going to make two to start off. We're going to just make some oak ones for the time being. Um, I also will probably go through and open up all of these real quick in a minute because I did do a bunch of that. Now let's see. Um... Actually, can you do this? Oh, no, you can't. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because I was actually thinking about putting more furnaces over here instead. So maybe we'll put these up here because we could still... Yeah, I think we can still access them from up there. So let's get all of our cobblestone out. I want to say there was a way to get that out a little bit easier, but maybe not. And I probably need to cook up a little bit more stone. But, oh, hey, what do you know? Guess who did already? <laughs> this guy did. So we're going to go prep over. We're going to grab a few things that I'm sure I'm going to need when we want to purchase the new blueprint. But let's go ahead and grab... You know what? Come here. We're going to take our horse over today. 
We don't have to waste so much food. We're actually getting very low to having to start working on diminishing returns. As you can see, we only have four more times until diminishing returns start picking up. And it looks like our cucumbers are ready for harvest today. How wonderful. We're about to get paid. <laughs> oh, I love getting paid. It's the best time of the day. Well, uh, well, whenever you get paid. Uh, <laughs> in this case, it's this day. Um, I don't know how many days this is, but I will be getting paid tomorrow, basically, according to um, our, sh our shopping bin, or, or shipping bin, not, not shopping, just shipping bin. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I got, I got, I'm, I'm, my brain works sometimes, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's get this farm all nice and watered up. Very soon, we get that blacksmith open, good things are gonna happen. Real good thing. We want to try to work towards getting money early with our farm. And from there, we need to try to get all of our buildings done. Because the buildings is where all the good stuff happens. Wait, hold on. Do they sometimes, like, despawn and then respawn these little things? That's interesting. Good morning, Yulof. Looking for a new building? Let me help you. All right, man. Sounds good. Um... So we could do the animal ranch, but the poultry farm is probably going to be our better bet here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start off with the poultry farm. Boop. Like so. And then afterwards we'll work on getting ourselves set up with the animal ranch. So the poultry farm is not too big. And I kind of feel like we could put it... Hmm... I don't really. I, I do want to have some buildings next to each other, so maybe we will put one over here next to Yulaf. Yeah, we'll try to. All right, so let's go ahead and clear out a little bit of this because this grass is really kind of killing this. I think I want to kind of help him out a little bit because I think he's gonna end up doing this anyway. And if we need to, I'll get a little bit of dirt and try to fix this up where it'll look better if he doesn't already. All right, so let's try that one more time. Okay, that looks like that might fit pretty well. Actually, let's try to match up the front here. And that looks right about there. Let's do that there. Boop. There he goes. You love getting started. Very nice. Oops. <laughs> Fell down a little. Okay, there we go. So let's let him do his stuff while he does his thing. Let's get back on our horse over here. Boop. And we do need to get a bucket. I do need to get a bucket set up because I want to put a nice little water source somewhere by our home here. Go ahead and roam around, my friend. Just don't go too far. I don't mind letting you walk around and, and do your thing. All right, we'll do that in a second, though. But let's do these. Where's the... Can, can you not, like, shift-click in this one? I guess not. This must have, like, the wrong... Inventory sorter one or something. I don't know. Usually they make their way into your... Am I just getting really bad luck with these? Or am I just getting feathers? Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. <laughs> Can I get something different, please? Alright, there we go. That'll work. Alright, so we got we got feathers, flint, and that, and some string. Yay. <laughs> Not the best in the world, but hey, it works. Alright, so we got one more water bottle. That should last us today. We haven't really been doing a lot, so we should be okay on that end of the spectrum. We got our storage drawers set up now. We're ready to go. Um, I'm probably going to need to start setting up a nice little area for our poultry stuff. Because we're going to have a little chicken farm now. So maybe, just maybe, let's look into possibly grabbing a little bit of some, some wood here. And we'll set us up a little... Poultry farm. Or as some may say, Mr. Jenkins is home. The home for Mr. Jenkins. So we're gonna, we'll let you roam around in our nice size farms. You guys can see I got it all nice and fenced in. We got some spruce trees growing in the back here. And, oh, well, the oaks aren't doing what I was kind of hoping, but that's okay. I do like that tree, though. I like the way those grow. I just, they just look nice. Do I really want to do it in the side of this, or do I want to put this maybe somewhere else? Maybe we could put it down. I might 
put it down here, actually. Oh, we got a little water source down there. Good. We do need to fill up our watering can. Gotta love it when water does that. Makes all the sense in the world. Oh. Hello. I guess I didn't fill you in before. There you go. Alright, so we'll keep an eye out on Yulof to see... Basically, when he gets done with that, it shouldn't take him too long. He might even be almost... Yeah, he's almost done. Um, we'll go ahead and build a small poultry farm. Let's grab a little bit more dirt real quick, actually. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Should have enough. I can't wait till we get better tools. There is a very special tool that I am looking forward to buying, uh, but we have to wait till I think it's the cafe or maybe something else. But there's a tool because we have cyclic in here. And there's also some other goodies, um, like, I think it's a bag? Or is it a satchel? Holding. Ah, this little guy. So we have to, yeah, buy it from the cafe. So we don't have the cafe yet, but we will have the cafe sooner or later. But for now, we're just going to make a very small little, little build here. Actually, let's grab some fences. You can see the poultry farm, or not the poultry farm, but the poultry whatever thing over there has uh, some fences down underneath it. That might be kind of neat to kind of utilize a little bit. So we're not going to make this uber huge until maybe we need to do some upgrades. And I've been seeing some comments of you guys telling me about how often I should possibly look into upgrading my home. And some of you guys are saying like every, every five episodes, maybe every seven. And I'm like, whew. You guys, oh man, you're going to be putting some building in on me, aren't you? So, I don't know if that is what I'm going to do every five or ten episodes. That's kind of a lot, like really kind of much, in my opinion. So, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the, all the input. I thank you guys. I was thinking maybe like maybe ten, maybe fifteen or something. I don't know. Depending on how fast. I guess, let's kind of see how fast things kind of move along. I think that's probably the better way of putting it, maybe. And then, uh, from there, we'll see maybe which of you are, are right in how often we should, you know, upgrade. So, I think from here, let's put the door, like, there. This is, this is actually going to be kind of strange. Yeah, no, I need, I need it to be on the top end. I don't need it on the bottom part, so those may not work there. But that I need there. Kind of play around with this a little bit. This is the actual floor that I want for it, so that way we have enough room. Yeah, we might need one more there. Actually, let's pull this out, actually. Let's just pull it out. One more block. Something like that. To that, to that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that'll work. And we may need more fences than this, but I'm just kind of getting it started for us. What time is it? Yeah, we'll go ahead and finish out the day, and then tomorrow we'll go check out the poultry farm. Hopefully they'll be open. That's what I'm hoping. All right, now we need some corners. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe start like that. Go too tall. And the downside of this is we got this, you know, opening. Actually, you know what? Some of these places, you know, they have a little bit of like an opening, you know? So you can kind of get a little bit more like of an outside feel. Yeah, that's not the worst in the world. I could probably live with this. I do want a different color wood, though. Let's put a little bit more fencing down on the bottom, just so we can kind of see some stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's also do that for now. We'll do that and that. Let's put one. We're going to need some more fences. Well, let's at least mimic the front. We'll do that for now. And then I might do something under here. A little bit later maybe maybe some spruce logs down like the center for like a, almost a looking support under here yeah 
Yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright, so we'll kind of finish this off in a minute, but let's go ahead and sleep. We'll go water the farm real quick. And then we'll uh, check out the times on the poultry farm. Should... Oh, never mind. We don't have to water the farm today. It ends and it is raining! <laughs> oh, that's nice. What luck. What luck. Alright, so we got some stairs. I'm probably going to want a little bit more. That might be good enough for the moment. I think we're actually good on fences for the moment. Let's go ahead and set the door up. I think we're going to put this door on the front part of it. Like so. And let's go ahead and start setting up some outside walls here. Kind of hide a little bit of the, uh, the actual floor. Oh, gosh darn it. Yeah, I am actually kind of liking this. That doesn't look too bad at all. Could be better, of course. But, I like it. Yeah, let's, okay, let's go and do that all the way around, because I am kind of thinking that looks not too bad. And I do want some more fences, so let's go ahead and make some more fences real quick. Please tell me that's right. I think that's right. Yes. Let's start off with that much. And I might need to go one taller, actually. On these spruce logs here. Yeah, the only reason why I'm kind of waiting a little bit is because it is raining. We don't have to worry about watering the farm today. Oh, and look how much money we made from yesterday. Oh, yeah. Love seeing all that money in my pocket. We're actually very close to being able to buy the next one, which is going to be the animal ranch. So the next harvest we have, we should be good to probably look into getting some some new blueprints as well. Oops, that was the wrong item. And we'll do the same thing here. Hmm. Something seems off about that. Might just need to do an actual block. Or we could just do fences all the way across. It wouldn't hurt. Maybe a different colored fence. Do we have any other colored fences? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Spruce colored fence might be a lot nicer looking, honestly. Let's grab a little bit of this spruce wood. We got plenty of spruce growing now, so we don't have to worry too much about the spruce. Get that done. We're going to have to fix this up, too, I promise. I, I will. Trust me, that's going to bother the crap out of me. All right, all right, all right. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot nicer. All right. So we'll just go ahead and have, like, a nice little open-like area all around, so... Things can breathe and enjoy there, but they're out of the elements. We'll put a roof on it, of course. Ooh, this might be a little painstaking. All right, what time is it? It is time. All right, let's go. Let's go run on over to the poultry farm, and we'll talk to whoever now owns it. See, exactly. Let's check the farm too. I think we're good. The potatoes ready? Nope, potatoes aren't ready yet. And the wheat takes a little while to do, so <laughs> we got some time left on that. I'll try to wait before we do anything. Yep, poultry farm is done. Monday to Saturday, and today's Wednesday, and they open at 5 to 11. So they're open nice and early, and we have inside Ashley. Hello, Ashley. I love this place. Isn't it wonderful, Mr. Fox? Who's Mr. Fox? I hope they get to stay here for longer. Oh, hello. Sorry I didn't see you there. I was just, never mind. Anyway, welcome to my poultry farm. My name is Ashley. Uh, do you know how to take care of chickens? Show me, please. Ah, so you don't know. Well, then here's first things first. You will feed your chickens 
You must feed your chickens. I'm sorry. If you don't, they will get sick and stop producing anything for you. You can feed chickens by hand or with a feeding tray. Chickens like us. Uh, chickens like us need a little bit of love too. To show a chicken that you love it, just make sure you pick it up every day. You can pick up chickens by right-clicking them, and they love it. Just right-click the ground again to throw them back down. Feeding by hand also makes a chicken love you a bit more. A happier chicken will produce bigger and better eggs. Here are some feed. You can give, uh, you can go feed this chicken and show it some atten uh, additional love. Then come back to me. Oh, hi. Well, hi, little guy. She already has some eggs in here. Oh, and a treat. Remember, I asked you to pick up a chicken and feed it some chicken feed. Did you give me the chicken feed? Oh, you did give me the chicken feed. There we go. Well done. It looks like you know how to take care of your chickens. As mentioned before, happier chickens make bigger eggs. But how do I get eggs, you ask? Well, my dear, simply place a nest box nearby, and eventually the chicken will lay down an egg. They'll only lay one egg a day, however. They won't lay eggs unless they have been fed. Once you collected your eggs, don't forget to ship them for some gold. I have a nest box for you. Come back and see me when you got an egg from your chicken. All right. Nest box. Very nice. Hey, little guy. Come on. Got to take you home. Okay, I, I, I did not break your torch, lady. I'm so sorry. Little baby Jenkins, I guess, did it. <laughs> we got to put him inside. Now, I would use a wooden pressure plate on the inside of the door, but obviously doing that, they would touch that and get out. Now, I'm not sure. I think we might be able to get away with using maybe a weighted pressure plate. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, so let's go ahead and pop our chicken down there. Let's go ahead and get him a nice little nest box over here in the corner, maybe. And I already fed you for the day, so yeah, you can't get through there, buddy. You shouldn't be able to. I hope I hope you can. And now we have a chicken. Our very own baby Jenkins. Well, it's not a baby. I think it actually is a full-grown chicken. They just look like that. Which I actually like the way. I kind of like the, the look of them. I know some people may not, but it does give me a, a nice feel from, like, Harvest Mood and all that stuff. So, All right, so now we have some extra fences. We can also do this. Now, the other side, I don't really feel like I need to do that, honestly. Uh, we have some dirt. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and fix that right now. We'll go ahead and probably pick this up for the time being, and we'll move this and give our little... Uh, Horse friend, a little bit bigger stable very soon. I may build that off camera, actually. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that just yet. That might take me a little bit longer than normal to do. All right, so we got that. Um, hmm. What do I want to do on that top edge there? So the other thing I want to do is I want to I do want to put a oh look at that you even got us an egg already so I want to put the chicken feed in here so there you go there's your egg and if we hurry up we might be able to go over and finish talking to Ashley I'm gonna try to remember all of their names and she may give me something now that I have an egg here I'm gonna try to get to her real quick before it looks like she might close in a minute I think what did it say what, 1500 oh, 1100 well she might still talk to me. Remember, after an egg from a chicken... Uh, remember, I'm after an egg from a chicken. If you need a new box, you can buy one from me. All right. For your hard work, I'm happy to give you a rare egg. If you want to get more, you'll really have to take care of your chickens. Oh, right. There's also something... Something's else... Something's else? <laughs> you may not know about yet. First thing... Take your chickens inside when it's going to rain, and then bring them out when it's sunny. Also, something else is the incubator. With an incubator, you can hatch your own chickens. You just need a place, uh, need to place an egg inside, wait a few days, and the chick should hatch. They'll be born with half the relationship, so it's much better than just buying more. By the way, thanks for letting me open a shop here. No problem. We got a feeding tray now. We got four large eggs, which we could sell. But if we can get an incubator from her, 
That would probably be better. Cluck, 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 clucking. <laughs> when will these chicks just shut the clock up? <laughs> nice. Oh, is that where your torch goes? I am so sorry. Oops. Uh, I totally borked that up. My bad. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I'm so sorry. All right, so we do have a feeding tray, which will be very beneficial for us, especially on days that we get really, really busy and we aren't able to show that love to our little chicken friends. So I think we're going to go ahead and do a spruce top on this, kind of like we did the house. So we are going to need some more stairs, probably. But inside... Oh, and they, they poop feathers, too. That's very nice. So I like to put the feeding tray on the other side. I'll give them a little bit of feed in case, you know, we don't feed them. <laughs> Yet. Not, not that ruthless, okay? Yeah, I think let's just go ahead and put the roof on. So let's see. Let's start here. You know what? That, that's fine. That works. That works. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the other part of it. Because the roof is the tedious part. It is the one that takes the longest, it seems, most of the time. And I may not... I don't know. This is going to be a pretty big roof for this little building. So I don't know quite how I feel about it yet. <laughs> Alright, that shouldn't be too bad. Alright. And I probably won't even worry about having it go off the back end. But we really need to get a roof on because I don't want this little chicken to get sick on me. I do have somewhat of a heart. So <laughs> we got to be caring as much as possible here. Do I want to take it out another one? Yeah, I guess. That one did place wrong, so we need to fix that. And that one placed wrong, so we do need to fix that. Why are you a pain? <laughs> Stop doing that! For the love of Pete. I don't know who Pete is, but gosh dang, man. All right, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and finish this off camera real quick, and I will see you guys back in just a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Got the roof on. Just slept through the night. Yeah, the rain is gone today, thankfully, which means we got a new day, which means we do need to remember to pick up our little friend here, toss him down on the ground, and if he hasn't ate already, we can go and give him a little bit of food, but he has ate because of the feeding tray already. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up in here. I think uh, we got a few small little things I want to make. Try to look a little bit nicer. We'll do something like that. That should be fine. And I think that'll do it. There we go. Last thing we just need in here is a little bit of light for our friends. Let's go ahead and do F7. Does F7 actually work? I don't think F7 actually works. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's do that, and then that on the opposite side. So, we got ourselves another little little egg here, which is awesome. I'm going to actually store those away for now. We need to buy more feed as well. And I did toss in my other egg before I slept through the night, but we'll toss that in there for now. And let's see. Let's do this. Let's grab... Where are they at? Right there. Actually, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I don't know. We could we could do another another set of these if we really don't like seeing through that. This actually might even look nicer. Just because of the way that bends. Actually, I do like that more. <laughs> what do you guys think, chat? I'd actually do like that a lot more. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. So I do want to head over. I do want to talk to Ashley one more time. She should be open today. And I do need to wander the farm, check to see if there's anything that needs to be harvested. The potatoes might be ready to, to harvest today. We'll check that out. Yes, they are indeed. So we got potatoes ready, and we'll go ahead and put those in our shipping bin. I should be harvesting my sugar cane every day as well, honestly. Oh, no, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. We need to use a different hand. You just have an empty hand when we do this. Um, 
Oh, and we got a po poisonous tomato, potato. That's wonderful. Um, but yeah, I should be harvesting that every day. But I am going to probably be moving that. I might end up moving that over and make a sugarcane farm over in this area or out behind the house as well. I think that would probably be a little bit nicer instead of having it right there next to it and make it more efficient and easier to harvest. Because you can get a little bit of gold from doing sugarcane. It's really helpful. Chickens provide essentials for us. What can I help you with? Shop. All right, so we can see we can buy a chicken here for 1.5 thousand gold. We can also buy a bunch of chicken feed, the feeding tray, and here is the incubator. So we're gonna need 7.5 thousand to incubate. So we're gonna hold off on that, I think, for now. Uh, we'll just try to make our chicken as happy as possible. Chicken treat, treat. I'm assuming the treat is probably for the other one, which is probably cows. So let's go ahead and buy some feed. We're gonna buy about 20 of those. And we'll buy a couple of chicken treats because we like to be nice guys. But I think that's going to do it for today. So I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of Farming Valley. Like I said, I'll get some more stuff done between this episode and next. And we're probably getting, getting very close, if not already, in summer by the time next time we actually start working um, on the next video. So... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Please do me a favor, check out that description. The description has some really cool links, like links to the Patreon, my stream, where I stream every single night. So if you guys are interested and you all want to come hang out with me, by all means, I think tonight I may end up playing some more FTB Revelation, because I really, really enjoyed some work on that last night. I got some, some pretty cool things figured out, and a nice little build and a volcanic base I'm working on, which has been pretty fun so far. Uh, but anyways, yeah, do check all that stuff out. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys would, hit that like button. It really helps me out and lets me know you guys are still enjoying the series and are liking all of this stuff that we've done thus far. And like I said, you put a smile on my face as well. I hope I put a smile on y'all's faces every single day. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.